officially getting into the colder weather because this morning I went to apply my MAC Nourishing Foundation and I've been using it and it's been fine NW20. That's been my shade for quite a while. And I wore it yesterday and I thought it looked fine, but this morning I applied it and it looked so dark. So I had to mix in a little bit of NW15. So hopefully I'm matching a little bit better today. And I added some bronzer to help warm up my skin, but I love this time of year and I love the makeup that's associated with this time of year. So I think I have some really nice October favorites to share with you today. Before I get into actual product recommendations, I have a YouTuber recommendation. And Lily from the blog Genuine Glow, which is very well known in the green natural beauty community, just in the past month or so, she started making YouTube videos. Lily is just a really warm, nice person, and her blog has been a fantastic resource for me. And she's always been very inclusive and very welcoming to me because I'm not a natural green beauty blogger. I just have an interest in those types of products. So she has entertained some of my more basic questions and why she likes certain ingredients. And some of my best natural product recommendations have come from her like the One Love Organics Cleansing Oil, which I still love, and the RMS Unpowder. Pretty much every time I do my makeup, I use that powder. It is one of my all-time favorites. Lily kind of focuses a little bit more on the more high-end, luxurious green products. Like the last video I watched of hers was the a review of the latest offerings from Kierweiss. So really beautiful, high-end products. So if you haven't seen Lily's channel yet, I will have it linked down below. Another thing I really enjoyed in October was learning a new technique from Wayne Goss called the Halo Technique. And I talked about this in my last Get Ready With Me video, but it's basically an alternative. If you want to highlight, but you don't want just the strip of highlighter on the top of your cheekbones, you can use a loose shimmer powder, which is what Wayne recommends. And in his video, he used this one from Jane Iredell. This is the 24 karat gold dust shimmer powder in the color Champagne. And you take a powder brush, and I really like the Furless MF1. I think this one just is the perfect size for my cheeks. Get a little bit of the shimmer powder and start to work it where you would normally highlight, but then you bring it down and make it a little bit more like a blush topper. And it just creates an all over glow to your cheeks when you turn your head, it's beautiful. So the Jane Iredell, I really like it, but it has actual glitter particles. So for every day, it's a little bit much. That's more of a special occasion. So I also tried this other loose powdered highlighter I own. It's from Lima Pure and it's called Lumina. I actually never said it out loud, but I think that's probably how you say it, Lumina. And if you have really fair skin, I think this product should be on your radar. It is such a gorgeous highlighter. It is very pale though. So what I like so much about this is that you're still getting that glow, but there's no glitter particles. So I think this one is an awesome option for just working every day. For body products, I went back to an old favorite. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil and I have it in the scent Sweet Citrus. And I originally bought this to take to Sarah's wedding. I went through like the checkout lane at Sephora and I bought a ton of mini products, but I didn't bring this and I can't remember why. So I've been using it up and I wanted to use the last little bit this morning, but I tried to save a tiny bit so I could do a close up. But what makes this product so nice is the texture, that whipped texture. It smells good, it sinks in immediately, yet it's still really moisturizing. And that's something as it gets colder outside, it gets colder in my bathroom and I cannot stand when I get out of the shower and put a body butter on that's too thick, takes forever to sink in, or it leaves like a little bit of stickiness, that's just not good. So this is the exact opposite. It sinks in immediately, it doesn't feel like you did anything, yet you're really moisturized. So I was thinking the with the VIB sale coming up that I wanted to get a full size, and Sweet Citrus has always been my favorite, but I noticed that they have so many new scents. So I hope those are gonna be in store so I can maybe try something new, but I know for sure that Sweet Citrus is really good. My number one favorite out of the entire month is a perfume, and this is by the brand Commodity, which you can get at Sephora, and it's in the scent Moss, which sounds kind of weird and a little bit unappealing, but I think this is the perfect fall scent. And I wrote down a few of the notes. Eucalyptus, oak moss, orange blossom, cashmere woods, cedar wood, amber, and white musk. And I wore this one day, one of the first days I wore it, which I've worn it pretty much every day this month, my mom complimented me on it and she said it's unusual, but in a really good way. So I think this is something I'm definitely gonna be asking the full size bottle for for Christmas or my birthday. These next couple products might look familiar and that's because I think they've been in favorites videos before, but I'm just not over them yet. And I thought it might be nice to give you a little bit of an update so that you know I still really like these products. The first are the Too Faced Love Flush Blushes and these are my current favorite blushes and I just can't seem to stop using them. The first one I have is Baby Love, and this is a rosy nude. And while I like both of these on their own, I really like applying them together. And when I do that, I put Baby Love on the back of my cheekbone, and then I go in with a little bit of I Will Always Love You, and I put this right on the apples of my cheeks. 
and this one adds so much warmth to my face and while they both have a little bit of gold shimmer this one has significantly more i don't even really hardly see it in baby love but this one when i use it i don't even need a highlighter it's just pretty and glowy enough on its own. The other product is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And with this, when this was first in a favorites video, I think I had just gotten it, so it was kind of new, but now I'm towards the end of this tube and I already have one as a backup, so you know that I like it a lot. And this, I'm wearing just a single coat of it today. It's very deep and dark. It doesn't crumble or flake on me throughout the day. And if I wanted to build up the drama, I could add a second or third coat and it gets so voluminous. It also gets a little bit clumpy when I do that, but I have a lash comb to clean things up. But I really like this mascara. And if I end up doing a Sephora sale recommendation video, there are three mascaras that you can buy at Sephora right now that I really, really like, and this is one of them. This next favorite is brand new to me. It's from Jane Iredell, and it's called their Daytime Eyeshadow Kit. And they sent me a few of their products to try out this month, and I should have known that this was gonna be a favorite because I've seen it in so many people's videos. But really, this has become a little everyday essential for me, and I'll tell you how I like to wear it. This lightest color is the only one in the palette that has any kind of shimmer or glow to it. So I like to apply this all over with a fluffy brush. And then if I feel like it, I'll take a flat shader brush and really pack it onto the lid for a little bit more impact. And then really nice, you get two crease options, one a little bit more warm tone and one more cool tone. If I'm doing a really quick like get out the door look, I'll just pick whichever one goes the best with my cheek or lip color. Today I focused on the cool shade, but then I went in and added just a little hint of the warmer one right above it to create a little bit more warmth to the eye. And then you get two deeper shades, which can be used to deepen the outside corner or as liners. So my last Get Ready With Me video, I showed how this can be a great companion palette if you're using a more shimmery, loose pigment. But what I really, really like it for is just an everyday heading to work palette. Okay, let us finish up with lips. I have three products, the first of which is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Matte Revolution Lipstick in Bond Girl. And if you watch my favorite fall lipstick video, I already owned Walk of Shame, and I wanted to buy Bond Girl at the same time, but it was sold out. And while I love Walk of Shame, I don't know, there's just something special about this color, and I think if I was gonna create my own lipstick, it would look something like this. It is a rosy brown with a little bit of plum to it, and the formula of the Matte Revolution is unlike anything else I already own. It is so lightweight on the lips, it feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. And while it looks very matte on my lips, I don't feel like it's drying them out. And I think if you are like me and you have really dry lips, I think the Matte Revolution and the Bite Matte Lip Crayons, which I'm wearing aubergine right now, I think these are your best options, especially as we move into the colder months and our lips get even drier. I also got a ton of use out of the Gressa Lip Boost in the shade Regal, which I would describe as a raisin color. And this was in my favorite fall lip products too. So if you wanna see me try it on, and I forgot to mention, but I was wearing Bond Girl in my last video, which was all about planners. But the Lip Boost formula, these have a lot of nourishing ingredients like shea butter and mango butter and castor seed oil. So this is something I really like to keep in my purse. And even if I start out the day with one lipstick, there's a good chance that I will put this on like midday just to help my lips feel a little bit better. And last but not least, I have a lip pencil to go with all these rosy brown lipsticks I've been obsessed with, and it is Max Soar. This is such a great color. I mostly wear it underneath Mare, but I've worn it underneath the Gressa. I've worn it underneath the Bond Girl. It's a fantastic color. And I think if you ask me, Max Soar, Jane Iredell Spice, and Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk are my three all-time favorite lip pencils. Okay, that's everything I have for you today. That is all for my October favorites, and I hope you found it helpful, found something new or something interesting, and if you have any October favorites, I've already started Christmas shopping, and I'm working on my wish list for the Sephora sale, so if you know of something you think I should add to it, let me know. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with a new video very soon.